Hey y'all, let's check out Faith Fantasy Creations. All you gotta do is say Hey y'all, so today we're at some place even more than a fantasy. If you guys are new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. Um, I'm shy in Second Life, and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So y'all, today, now this is another place that I had in my landmarks. This place is amazing because it is more than fantasy. It's a store. So all of these things are for sale. Remember in some of my um, earlier videos when I talked about how I'm like, oh, you know, I always see these super whimsical things and I never know where to get them. I never come across stores. I came across one. I came across one. This was a place that I came across thinking that it was a destination. Look at this. This is for sale. This is for sale. Yeah. Uh huh. So the pricing is going to vary, but the items that I clicked on um, when I was in like the resin spot, the pricing was not too um, outrageous. These items are also, well, the ones that I looked at um, are very reasonably um, primed. So they're not like crazy prims and all of that for the things. But look at how cute they have some of everything even these this big purple one is for sale this big red and white mushroom is for sale all of these things are for sale i said i can't believe this and what's so funny is when i came here i accidentally like i was just like hovering over because i wanted to see like how many prams it was because i'm like this is huge it's probably a bunch of prams and i was like wait a minute i can buy this is this a store it's a store y'all it's a store ah uh, so if you are looking for like super fantasy fairy tale items this is the place this is the place to be when i tell you guys i was super excited um this has been in my inventory for quite some time can you purchase the ground i don't think you can purchase these little hearts that's on the ground but everything around it you can they have the little well you might be able to i, I don't know it might just be something that you can't cl uh, click on so they have these little boards where you can go and purchase the items that you see everything is so cute i love it these beautiful rainbows this looks like the rainbow that we saw in um the last video so that is the rainbow it is a set this is the easter section everything is so colorful and pretty i am in the shared environment i love this place i kept telling myself you know you gotta come back to this place i don't know if you guys can hear that like sporadic buzzing but apparently a cicada decided that it wanted to set up shop right outside of my window because you know what why not why not so if you hear like some sporadic on and off buzzing that's what it is hopefully um the cicada finds its way somewhere not by my window look at this beautiful strawberry arch oh i love it it looks like it has some transparency on it i don't know if that's to let you know that you can modify it or if that's actually like how it's made look at how juicy these strawberries look they look so yummy and so red you guys so i do often um do like searches on second life and stuff like that just to kind of see um other content um that is like second life related just to kind of see what's going on you know because sometimes i feel like it's not as many second life um content creators on youtube as i would like for it to be but what i have noticed is that there are a lot of this little bear is super adorable there are a lot of like troll channels for like people that come to second life and like troll second life and things like that and i'm just like why is that a thing like why is that a thing for people to really just like come to second life to troll and why is it that those are the channels that have like a bunch of views like trolling channels i've come across some really nice 
channels where they do like lifestyle vlogs and they'll take you shopping with them show you some of the new things that they've gotten and all of those things can i walk in here let's see it looks like i can so we can see what the inside of the strawberry looks like out of doors automatic all right now let me in so this is cute this is a little strawberry mushroom is that what it looked like on the outside so yeah i was like why is why are all the troll channels at the very top like i don't know i've never been a fan of like troll channels so i guess that's the reason and as to why i'm like why is this something that is superseding um other content creators that make content for a second life like why are the troll channels like superseding that i, I love a good um vlog i love little lifestyle vlogs home tours and stuff like i love stuff like that um to look at every every now and again you know um but i just i had noticed that and i was like that's kind of crappy because why why are they the ones that are like at the top of the search when i search for um second life stuff but what I did notice is that there are way more content creators that create um, Second Life content than I thought. And I'm very happy about that because um, I like to know that there are other people that are enjoying Second Life the way that I do. And it's so funny because I want to go look at these. This um, I didn't know if this was like an elf or something. It's so funny because I don't particularly... Um, feel like I know how to do or that I would would do like a lifestyle vlog like good or well but when I look at other people's lifestyle vlogs and second life I'm like oh you guys get it you guys really get it I you know I be I be chilling in second life just like I'll be chilling in real life they they really be finding some super nice um things they find a lot of I see a lot of lifestyle vlogs where they do like a lot of shopping well, they'll like have some lifestyle stuff and then it'll be like some shopping and things like that. And I think those are like super cute. Um, I noticed that a lot of people like they'll have like family and friends and stuff like that that they'll hang out with. And I think that is super dope and super cool because even though I don't um, do the family role play in Second Life, I always love seeing people who have like lots of friends and family in Second Life because I just like seeing like that type of community even if it's something that I don't desire for myself. I definitely love um, watching other people who desire from the, for themselves enjoy that. Look at this. It's given, this is given like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Is that was that the name of it? It's given like Willy Wonka. So I love how it, it's kind of going from like it went from like Easter, then some little strawberry patches and things like that. And then this is looking kind of spooky. This is looking kind of spooky. So you see, like they'll tell you the land impact on these. So this is three lindens each. But that I really like this. I really like this. I uh when I tell you, when I saw the place, I saw all of the mushrooms and I knew that I wanted to look. Are these flowers for sale? No, these flowers don't look like they're for sale. So it just seems like the larger items are for sale. And oh, the, the, the zoom is zooming. Oh, let's look at this. I wanted to look at the tree, but I want to look at these. Are these little duckies? It seems like the mushrooms and things like that are for sale, but not so much like the grass and the flowers. I could be wrong. I don't know. I could be wrong, but um, that's what it's looking like. So the things that are for sale, they are going to have like the little boards and stuff like that, but everything doesn't have a board. So some things you can hover over and then some things have a board. So when you guys come here and check this place out for your whimsical desires, um just know that everything is not going to necessarily have a board but it still can be bought but look how pretty this is i love these huge flat look how big they are look how big they are i'm gonna turn around so you guys can really like get a feel let me get over here let me get over here so you guys can really like get a feel look how big they are what look at how big this is compared to me and i'm tall in second life how cute is that and like this doesn't have a board so this doesn't have a board but it's for sale 
so stuff like that so just be mindful of things like that now i don't know if this if their items are like um i don't know if you've run across items where all oh, these flowers are beautiful I don't know if you've run across um, items where they they start out they start out large and they'll be like low prim and then if you shrink them the prims will go up. I have some rocks that are like that, like some border rocks that are like that, and they're from like where I get them rocks from. I don't know. I have so many sets, but I have some rocks that are like that where they're like huge rocks and they're like four prims, but then if you shrink them it goes up to like 25 and stuff like that. So I don't know. These look like they would be seats, but they're not giving me like a seat, a sit option. So maybe not. Those are super cute. And then they have this little Ferris wheel over here. So cute. Do the fairies come with it? It looks like the fairies come with it. Oh, and you can ride it. You can ride it too. Oh, the fairies look very unamused but it seems like they do come with it which i think is cute this is 30 land impact but i would imagine so because it is a lot going on and it's big and you can ride it as well so always you know make sure you check and stuff i for one i love a good low prim item this book is adorable this book is adorable what does it say as I look out to my garden, I feel a sense of pride. It really is a lovely room, except it is outside. How pretty is this? Look at the little squirrel. Yeah, we have a squirrel feeder and they are like going berserk right now. I don't know if, well, not right now, but in the daytime when they get fed. I don't know if it's like that time for them to start like saving up or, or something like that for like the winter time. But they really, they doing the most at this point. How cute is this with the little chubby cheeks like he's blowing the cloud or like he's sleep. How cute. Look at the little overview. I love it. This place is so nice. I really, really like it. And I knew that I would. I didn't know all of this was back here, of course, because I just, once I land, I look around. If I like what I see when I look around and I go ahead and landmark it. But I'm doing good um, getting through my landmarks. Right now what I'm doing though, I'm trying to get a lot of videos so that I don't have to be in that space of like recording a video the day before. Like I told um, you guys before in a, um, one of my earlier videos, I don't mind, but I like a buffer for the videos. And then because I'm not sure if I'm going to start I'm up in the videos to three days a week. I don't know, or if I'm just gonna try to be on a different platform um, like that. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it. I don't know what this is up here. Did we look over here? I don't think we looked over here already. We can pan over here. So I'm just trying to like get a lot of content out. Plus, the bigger reason, the biggest reason. Can you go in here? Oh, this is a place like you can go in here and have something like really small like a little seating area or something i want to start looking at some of the most recent places but i have to get through the landmarks that i have i have some really cool places this place being one of them um that i really really want to show you guys before they either go away look at these foxes one looks like a fox and one looks like a wolf so those are nice looking though can you buy them no they're not for sale um i want to be able to show you guys all of the places that i have saved to show you guys before i move on to some new adventures for us to go on so i'm really trying um just to like get a lot of these landmarks done i think we had looked at him earlier and so far so good you know so far so good so i figured um if I stop focusing on and I and I will do this for some videos, but not for all. But I'm like, let me stop focusing on like having an outfit to match the space and just kind of dress regular. And so that I can look at the place with you guys, because it's not about me. You know, a, a outfit is real cute. That's real cute. Mm hmm. But this is not about me. And you guys are looking at the back of my head. I mean, let's let's keep it a thousand. This is, this is not about me. 
so now that i'm in that i'm in that headspace oh look they move they're animated now that i'm in that headspace so just like okay we're just going to get the content out and not really worry about having an outfit to go with it i'm able to get the content out quicker and more is this something i can go into no it just has the look of it and that's fine let me see can i pan in oh you can it's like a little cave okay all right so i guess when you buy it you'll have like access to it or something like that i'm not sure look at these they're so not what are these called they look like little fairies but there's some other stuff going on with them hover and static decor include they're only three landing packs and in my opinion this is pretty big to just be three um i have a three landing pack look at this they're so pretty and they come in different colors okay i really like this with the little jewels and stuff like that so see now when i see some of these things at other lands where we go to like fantasy lands i don't know where they got them from mm -hmm. i'm figuring it out i'm really really figuring it out so what's going over here going on over here before we look in another space so i really really like it y'all so i was thinking about getting a twitch i say you know what you get a twitch who and girl when you gonna be going live i don't know e eventually i will but his hands dirty i mean i know you i understand you fishing sir i definitely get that but geez louise Look at the fish looking dumb because why are you that close? He, this is what this is what he wants. This is what he wants. Y'all, I was editing some of my um the videos that I did like a couple days ago, and it was so funny because I was up so late with like an unnecessary amount of energy. I've just come to the conclusion that I cannot take naps i cannot take at any time of the day i used to be able to like take a nice like hour long nap I, I can't 40 minutes don't do nothing for me it takes me about 30 minutes just to even get into my sleep so a nice like 40 45 minute like a uh, nap it, it don't really do what it need to do but an hour an hour gets me to where i need to be so but if i take an hour nap i'm gonna be up all night it doesn't matter what time i take the nap so when I was editing the video, I'm like, it doesn't make any sense that you are up. Oh, this is nice. It doesn't make any sense that you are up at this time with all of this energy, like super energizing. Even when I got done with the videos, it was almost like, it was almost like 6 a.m. And I really had to just like lay myself down like listen you're not doing another location even if you want to do another location you're not doing another location just go and sit down and get it together he looks kind of creepy kind of cute it's very weird i think it's the color that makes him cute and that's about it i really like these little stairs oh i like those Oh, it's so pretty up here. Look how colorful it is. They picked a really good shared environment because this environment is very like normal. While well, I'm doing quotes, it's very like it's a normal, normal um shared environment. It doesn't have like any kind of like tweaks to it or anything like that. So all of the colors really, really pop. This is so nice. It's so like wonky and I love it. These little butterflies would be super cute. They look like they're still caterpillars. That would be super cute for like a daycare. Super cute. These huge jelly beans look so yummy and so sweet. I love this. So y'all, it is about to be September, which means October is coming up. And October and December in Second Life are my absolute favorite seasons in Second Life. 
So I am super excited for all of the spooky locations that I'm gonna get to show you guys. That's another reason why I wanna get through my landmarks because I know that very soon, it's gonna be like mid-September a lot of times. They will, sometimes early September, they will start um, getting their Halloween stuff up. And Second Life does it big, in my opinion, with Halloween, Halloween and Christmas. Those are two of the best times to me, aesthetically wise, because they really, really do it up with their, um, with their locations. And I think the biggest reason why they do that is because they know that the lands are not gonna be up long. They're not expected to be up long because they're really there just for the season. So they really do them up huge. They really do them up big. So I am super excited for that. I do, um, I'm pretty sure that I will be participating in both Vlogtober and Vlogmas, but don't quote me on that. That's the plan, you know, that's the plan. But as, as we know, plans can get changed real quick, fast and in a hurry, but that's what I want to do. I love how everything is just kind of like on multiple different levels. So there are lots of different things to look at. I like how they have some of the things kind of repeated. So it's like just in case you miss them like in one section and they'll have them in a different section for you to look at. Look how pretty this is. Against the clouds in the back. So beautiful. Look how tiny I look. Because everything is so huge i love oversized items in second life they look so cool it just really transports you to like a different space and place in time so they have all of these super cute like these little alien my little pony looking mushroom people like they're hybrids i don't know what's going on but i like them i like them i love the colors i really do like them it's like every level has something different, something even more magical and mystical. I really love it. They have this nice little bridge that you can purchase with all of the jewels. We see these jewels in so many different locations with well, jewels like this in so many different locations. So if you guys want them, they sell them here. They have this nice little water stream. I love it. And then look at this beautiful, beautiful overview. What? It's beautiful. So y'all, this is Faith Fantasy Creations. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.